Welcome to the Profits in Pajamas podcast. I'm Danielle DeTeach, or Coach Danny D, and I help women to create luxury brands by creating processes and tightening their branding. This is where we talk about how to build your business in a way that allows you to work with ease and enjoy your life. My happy space is spending as much time as humanly possible in my pajamas, and I want to help others to find their happy space while still running profitable businesses. So get comfortable and let's dig in. Hello and welcome to the Profits in Pajamas podcast. I am your host, Coach Danny D, and I am here helping business owners or women, um, whether they're entrepreneurs or in the, you know, professional space as career oriented women to find that happy space, find their joy, find a place where they are able to have a harmonious life that includes their personal life as well as their professional life. So everything is not purely about the profession and sometimes we lose our identity inside of that so I'm here to help people um, especially women to get back to a space where you or to find a space because maybe you've never even experienced it where you are living the totality of your life where you're living a fulfilled life that's not focused a hundred percent on one aspect of your life. So that's why we're here. And today I want to talk about something. This was actually a um a listener's choice. This was um a topic I was actually speaking to one of my clients and this topic came up and she said you need to you need to do an episode about this. So the the topic for today is um loving every version of yourself. And I'm not hundred percent sure. I'm sure I probably mentioned this in another episode or what have you, but you know, bear with me because it's important. So we happen to be having a conversation about, um, you know, business, but I, I was using the analogy of weight loss and that process, right? And so in that conversation, she shared something that one of her um, friends was doing as a way to um, really kind of shock themselves into wanting to make a change. And so we were talking about like personal experiences and things like that, because, you know, again, just like I started off the podcast, this is not, you know, it's really just all about business. It's, it's, it all weaves together. So we, you know, even with my clients that are business clients, we get into life as well. So we're talking about the whole weight loss thing. And she shared with me what her friend was doing. And I kind of, you know, had a reaction to it. And she said, well, I think, you know, her perspective is she's getting to the raw of everything. and." um that's motivating. And I'm a big believer of, you know, do the things that work for you. Everybody has their cheat codes. Everybody has those things that work for them that help them to, you know, get where they need to get. But I shared my personal perspective with her and I said, well, to me, I feel like if I did that, it would be discouraging because I am very big on the energy that I give to myself. I don't speak negative words to myself. I don't think negatively about myself. And if I catch myself doing that, I redirect myself. So I said to her, I take a perspective of, I am going to lead with love. It's kind of how I live my life. And I have to 
if that's how I treat others, I have to treat myself that same way. That's not, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm not less important than anyone else, right? So when it comes to stuff like that, so when I am on a fitness journey and I was telling her how, you know, I've been on a fitness journey and, and I've had injuries and illnesses that have derailed that and, you know, I'm like aspiring to get back there. I don't start with, I hate how I am right now. I don't start with, any kind of negative um, conversation to, for, about myself. I start with loving myself at every impasse, loving myself at every iteration of who I am. And that's not just about, you know, physical, that's, that's everything. Because as you go through a growth journey, you're going to change. You're going to learn new things about yourself. You're going to heal some things that may have been broken, but there was nothing wrong with that other version of yourself. What I said to her was, for me, when I can look at my current self lovingly, so when I can walk in confidence, how I am today, if nothing ever changed, right? How I am today, I love me. Then it makes it that much easier for me to make loving decisions for myself. So because I love myself, I'm going to get up and go take this walk. Because I love myself, I'm going to fix this meal that I enjoy, but that also is healthy for me, that I feel good, you know, that, you know, sometimes, you know, you, you crave those comfort food things, but then after you eat them, you feel horrible because they're usually heavy and this and that. Um, But sometimes when you, you know, fix that lighter meal, and it's flavorful, it's enjoyable, but you feel light afterwards. It, it feels like love. It feels like a loving situation. So, you know, I share that not because I'm trying to get you on a um, health journey or a weight loss journey. I am trying to get you on a health journey, though, a, a holistic health journey, not um, specifically about appearance, not about a particular size is um that's not the point um and it's it's really not the point to make you you know look any different the point is is for you to love you today love you today the way you are today everything about you today love that you were made in God's image. Love yourself. Love you today. Know that anything that you may want to work on, change, improve, doesn't mean that something's wrong with you. Doesn't mean that you're not lovable. Doesn't mean that you're not a good person. It just means that you have a journey. You have a journey to walk. You have a journey. And there's something absolutely beautiful about saying, I love myself and I want to continue to become the best version of me. The other thing about coming from a place of love is that when you start moving forward, you know that you're moving forward in your lane, in your um, destiny, right? Because a lot of times we come up with, you know, if we we are talking about physical appearance, um, there's these, you know, quote unquote standards, right, of beauty. Like we 
look at, you know, magazines and this and that. And everything says you're supposed to look this way, be this way, dress this way. And eventually we we start to morph into something else. But oftentimes when we're morphing into this other thing, we're losing sight of what makes us truly beautiful. What makes people, you know, gravitate towards us. And again, I'm using the example of, um, you know, the, the physical, but I'm not really talking about the physical. I'm talking about just in general. I mean, there's, there's people that I see, I meet every day and there's something, you know, beautiful about that person, but what typically makes them beautiful is that there's something unique about them. So it's not that, oh, you look like the 12 other people that I saw today. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, I love your hair because it's different. Or, oh, you have the most, you know, expressive eyes. You know, it could be anything. You, you know, you have you have the most creative spirit. You have you know, I know a few people that like, you know, I'm a hugger, but like, I haven't always been like a, a hugger, but I am a hugger. But there's a few people that like, I can't wait to see them because they just have like the warmest, warmest hug. There are different things about you that make you unique, special, and it's not because you're, you know, trying to be everyone else and it's not going to shine through if you are constantly coming at yourself from an attack mode and it's hard to change in that mindset as well. Like if your goal is to continue to grow, continue to improve, you know, you're more likely to improve when you are feeling that you are loved and supported than when you are feeling that, you know, negativity, that self-hate, that something's wrong. And, you know, we as we continue talking, you know, we started talking about, you know, when you do kind of get in your head and you're like, oh my God, you know, I'm this, I'm that, you know, whatever. Then if things don't go, right or if you you know kind of internalize that then that's when you go and you know binge on oreos or do whatever because you're frustrated whereas if your perspective is i'm gonna love the mm, out of myself then you are going to lend yourself to healthier choices So I want you to approach yourself from a space of love. And when you start to really dig into approaching yourself from a space of love, I want you to see how it changes how you see others because it's harder to get caught up in the comparison game, when you are reminding yourself of loving yourself and being kind to yourself and giving yourself grace and understanding that their journey is not your journey. And you can only assess yourself from your journey. I want you to see how it changes what you allow from others. So when you start to treat yourself lovingly, then it sets a standard. It sets an expectation that you want everyone else to treat you the same. So let's sit today. I want you to sit today. I want you to spend some time reflecting and I want you to think about how much you love you. And if you struggle with 
doing that, if you struggle with, if that, if that brings you pause, because it's, you know, it may be new, it may be different. It may not be um, what you're accustomed to. You may have had someone or have currently someone in your life that is very critical. And so that makes it a lot harder to, um, to love you. But I really want you to sit and I want you to think about all of the beautiful things about yourself. And I want you to continually remind yourself that you were beautiful, that you were worthy of love, and that you are worthy of love from your from you first and foremost that you deserve to be loved and you deserve to be treated with love by you and by anyone else who encounters you so let's work on love let's work on self love let's work on being loving towards others cuz we have to catch ourselves as well that you know I'm definitely the, I want you to check me and I'll check you, friend. But even that comes from love. That needs to come from a place of love and not, I need to make you over or I want you to be a certain way. It needs to come from, hey, sis, I see you. I see you, you know, moving. I see this thing. Like, you look beautiful. Your your dress is gorgeous. Let's your, your slip is hanging. You know, I know. Um, I'm aging myself with that reference. I know that. Um, <laughs> I was raised by a grandmother, so you know, slips are were were a thing. But um, you know, your 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 hem is showing, or you know, I can I can see your bra strap straighten. You know, your bra, whatever it is. You know, we have to also interact with other people with love and sometimes that's not someone's um normal native tongue you know like they say what's your native language it may not be your native tongue it may be yours but not the person that you're dealing with but let's start to make it a norm because when you do it 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 encourages other people to do it as well so Self-love, self-love. So we're going to focus on loving thoughts. So, you know, give it a try for the next 48 hours to focus on loving thoughts towards yourself. Um, take whatever loving acts you can take. It could be something as simple as making sure you drink water today. Take whatever loving acts you can take towards yourself. Um, show love to others. And when you have those negative thoughts creep in, when you hear yourself calling yourself out your name, um, using words with yourself that aren't loving, redirect. Redirect. Go back to the drawing board. Redirect. And re um evaluate through the lens of loving yourself so that's what I got for you um and you know like I said this was a a viewer's choice um you are always welcome to share if there's a nugget that I've shared with you that you think that I need to expound on you're always welcome to share that with me and, um, you know, I will do my best to incorporate it into um, a podcast episode. So feel free to share, feel free to give feedback on the podcast. I absolutely love when I hear from listeners and what they think. Um, trying to think of what's going on in the, in the Coach Danny D metaverse. Um, we just started the work with ease automation workshop. Um, this is week one. So if you are interested, you still have an opportunity to sign up because you are not um you're not too far behind to um 
catch up on that. Um, stay tuned for some other things that are coming out. We do have on the 22nd, we, we will be having a goal setting workshop. So that is um, ending out this year and prepping for 2024. So I start my 2024 prep in October. Um, you know, so by the time everybody's being a new them, you know, I'm already ready to hit the ground running because I've been doing the prep work since October to get ready for the new year. So that goal setting workshop is going to be amazing. I have a, a signature goal setting process that has been super successful in me getting stuff done, you know, very um quickly outside of like the the norm of you know the amount of time it takes for most people to get things done because of how focused it is and how we drill down into um from from ideas to goals to specific actions to make sure that those goals are moving along throughout the quarter until we refresh with the next set so I'll put the link to that in the show notes and I think that's it. I know, um, you know, just continually the success journal is out there. Start writing in that success journal. That's another way to show yourself self-love. That's another way to remind yourself of your greatness, of the wonderful things that you are doing, of the wonderful person that you are and that you are worthy of love. So. Um, I think that's all that's going on in the world of Coach Danny D. And I will see you guys next week. Next week, we'll have a, a wonderful guest episode that I don't want you guys to miss. It's an um, amazing conversation around winning uh, from within. So be here next week. All right, guys. Have a good week. Thank you for listening to the Profits in Pajamas podcast. I hope you got some great tips to start working with ease. Want to stay connected? Follow me at Your Workflow on Instagram. For more information about building your luxury brand, register for my upcoming luxury brand workshop at CoachDannyD.com.